it's just a weird thought, and it's just, it's all mental, and, you know, it's weird, it's like, if I do something that, like, gets me out of my comfort zone of, like, anxiety and stuff, like, it gets better for a little while, and then I go back to how I was before, like, I don't know if that makes sense. And so, you know, it's just, it's gotten better throughout the years, I think. A few of the things that have helped me overcome my anxiety was finding good friends that I could be myself around and go to for help. Certain things and just honest friends who give you their opinions and just be open with each other. Because I couldn't do that with my family. Um, even to this day, I can't. I just, I just don't connect with certain people, I guess. And some of my family members are those people, which is sad. But yeah, social anxiety really, really sucks. I was just trying to wake my dog up. He keeps like blowing really hard. something can happen. 
anxiety leads to people trying to cope, which a lot of people turn to food and stuff and they get overweight and then they lose control of their body and then that makes them even more sad and it's just crazy. People just come up with unhealthy coping mechanisms. I don't blame them. Like, life is hard. doing what we can to survive, get through it, and then who knows what happens after life. <laughs> like some people believe in a god and stuff. I was raised very religious, and I was always told that there was a god, and I knew exactly what happened after I died. and like a way to comfort themselves, like a way for people to think that they know what life is all about, because once you don't know what the point of life is, it almost drives you crazy. You know, like, this kind of sounds so stupid, but, like, we see in movies and stuff, like, The Maze Runner. If you've seen The Maze Runner, it's like these kids wake up and they're in the middle of this maze. reminds me of like life and they don't know how to get out and people die and but like eventually they get out and like it's just weird like what if life is like that or something and what if this one planet is like kind of like the maze runner like we're put here by someone you know, there's like, I sound so crazy. That's not like what I believe, but you know, like, who knows? Maybe it is real. Like, how could people be so sure about what comes in the afterlife or what the purpose of life is? Because all these theories that people have about life from someone that is just like you. Like the religion I was part of, uh, Mormon, Mormonism, whatever. People are so passionate about it. Like, it's insane. Like, my family is insanely passionate about their religion. And they, like, base their whole entire life off of it is insane to me and it just controls them and they think that it's a good thing because they're gonna be blessed later on in life and after death and stuff but the religion was based off of something that a 14 year old boy said and it just blew up 
most different theories. Every religion, most religions at least, claim to be the right religion for everyone. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, so I'm just, I'm not a religious person. I believe in doing good in your life.
ASMRs. <laughs>